All right, we're talking to you about base two. It's a number that can either be one or zero. And what that means is there's no number two. So the number one, one is not 11 in base two. What it really means is this is the two to the zero portion. This position is 2 to the first, and this is 2 to the second. So the number 11 in decimal form in base 2 would be 2 to the 0 one time, or 1, 2 to the 1, or 2. So it's 2 plus 1 is 3. And that's what we mean by base 2. We'll go both ways. We'll have you convert base 2 to decimal, and we'll convert decimal to base 2. Let's add binary numbers. The rules are simple for adding binary numbers. Zero plus zero is zero. <coughs> zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. But one plus 1 is equal 1, 0, or 10. So for example, 1 and 1, you go to 0, carry the 1. This becomes 0 plus 1, but we also have a 1. So it becomes 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. This becomes 10. So your new base 2 number is 1, 0, 0, 0. To check it, you convert to decimal form. This would be 0, 2 to the 0. This is 0, but it's 2 to the first power, so nothing there. 2 to the second power is 0. Finally, we have 2 to the third power, or 8. So your answer is 8. <clears throat> if you have a situation where it's 1 plus 1 plus 1, you can do it two ways. You could go 1 plus 1 is 1 and 0. Because this 1 and the 1 are 0. Carry a 1. 1 comes down as 10. And then go 10 plus 1. 0 and 1 is 1. 1 and nothing is 1. So your answer is 1, 1, or 11. In base 2. Or you could go 0 and 1. And so you would be 1 carry 0. 11. The 1 and the 1 are 0, or 10, plus a 1, whatever is, is easiest for you. The hard thing the rules for subtraction are 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 0, but a 0 minus a 1, we make it a 10. So it becomes a 1. What do we mean by that? Here we have 1 and 1 minus 1 and 1. This becomes a 0. 10 minus 1 is 1. If you check your answer, check it, convert it to decimal form. So this is 1 plus 4 is 5. Because 1 to the 0 part is 1. 2 to the first part is 0. 2 to the second part is 1. But it's, the value is 4. So it's 4 plus 1 is 5. Minus, this is 1. And this is 2. So this is 3. So this is 2. Convert this number, 1, 0, 10, <coughs> to binary numbers. This is the 1 portion. And this is the 2. This is 2. There's your check. 1, 1, 0, 1 
minus 11. This is 0. You want to make this a 2, making this a 0. It's a very tricky way of doing it. Makes it pretty logical. If you make the 0 a 2 and make that a 0, this will come down to be a 1, and then your answer is 1, 1, 0. Check it by changing it to decimal again. So this is 1 plus 0 plus 2 to the second 4 plus 8. So 1, 1, 0, 1 is 13 minus 3. This is 10. This is 2 plus, this would be 4, 8 equals 10. So that's how it works out. So by thinking of this 0 as becoming a 2, crossing it out, making this a 0, subtracting 1, so you grab 1 from here to make this a 2, that way we need to subtract, makes it very logical. This is kind of gimmicky, but I really like it when my students showed it to me. This becomes zero when you subtract it. That's normal. And normally we refer to this here. 10 minus 1 is 1. And then this would be 10. Okay. But let's change the number slightly. And let's go... Let's change the number slightly show what happens here. So this becomes 0. And then this would be the 10 minus 1, but it's really confusing. So what we do is we make this a 0, change this to a 2, this becomes a 1. So we make this like normal subtraction where we would take the 0, we reduce the, this by 1, making it a, a 10 factor. And then this would be like a 9. We're going to do the same thing, but now we get 2. When we get to here, we look at this, and we can make it, either we can do it like this, where we make it 10 minus 1 is 1. This is 0, so it's like this. Or we can choose to one. Then this is a zero. We can make this a two, make this a zero. Then we have it like this. I think by having a student change the 1 to a 2, it's something they're more used to doing. And it's even more logical. 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1. It's easier to track. So try it out with your students to see how they feel about that.